द नेम्स ऑफ पॉपुलर गुप्ता रूलर्स इज नोन टू मोस्ट ऑफ अस एंड वेन वी रीड द जीनियोलॉजी ऑफ द गुप्ता रूलर्स दिस इज द लिस्ट विच वी गेट नाउ द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट फर्स्ट टू गुप्ता रूलर्स इज फेयरली लिमिटेड बट फ्रॉम चंद्रगुप्त फर्स्ट ऑनवर्ड्स वी हैव ए ग्रेट डील ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डिफरेंट गुप्ता रूलर्स अप अंटिल स्कंद गुप्त now from this list the impression which we get is that the succession in the gupta empire was fairly smooth but this was not the case what we find is that there are multiple cases in which after the end of a gupta rulers there were multiple contenders to the gupta throne and there were also violent struggles that happened so in this video we will look at the different cases of war of succession in the gupta empire our story starts from the very beginning as i have said we do not know much about the early two gupta rulers so it is hard for us to say whether there was war of succession that happened in this period or not the same is also true about chandragupta first the third ruler of the gupta dynasty we do not have enough information about his early period so it is hard for us to say whether he faced some struggles during his succession or not now the story is completely different from samudragupta from some coins that are found in eastern up and from a phrase that appears in the prayag prashasti of samudragupta it appears that samudragupta faced challenges at the start of his reign some scholars have argued that when chandragupta first declared that his successor would be samudragupta a person who was the brother of samudragupta challenged him his name was kach about kach we know from the coins in eastern up and it also appears that some buddhist text give allusions to kach now how long the struggle lasted between kach and samudragupta is not known but the outcome is known to most of us but it is quite clear that samudragupta became the next gupta ruler now after samudragupta we know that chandragupta second became the next gupta ruler up until 20th century it was believed that chandragupta second did not face any struggle during his succession but with the discovery of a plate titled devi chandraguptam and also some coins that are found from the malwa region it appears is that the story after samudragupta's reign is pretty interesting what we find from this play devi chandraguptam and also some coins from the malwa region is that after samudragupta we have another gupta emperor whose name was ramgupta ramgupta was also the elder brother of chandragupta second from the evidence which we have it appears that ramagupta ruled as a gupta ruler for some time but when the struggle between chandragupta second began it appears that the base of ramagupta became the region of central india and as what happened to kach finally chandragupta second was able to eliminate ramagupta and from this play devi chandraguptam it appears that chandragupta second also married the wife of ramagupta whose name was dhruv devi after this marriage one son who was born to dhruv devi and chandragupta is known to most of us i am here talking about kumar gupta but it appears that kumar gupta also had a brother the information about this brother comes from a seal that was found in vaishali the seal reads the illustrious mahadevi dhruv swamini wife of the illustrious emperor chandragupta and mother of the illustrious maharaj govind gupta so here dhruv devi is called dhruv swamini and this person maharaj govind gupta was the son of dhruv swamini and chandragupta so this govind gupta is the brother of kumar gupta govind gupta here has the title maharaj which means that he was most likely a governor now the question comes governor of which region so the answer to this comes from an inscription in central india and here govind gupta is mentioned which means that most likely govind gupta was the governor of vidisha during this time now the perplexing thing about this inscription in which the name of govind gupta appears is that this inscription dates to the period of skandgupta's reign that means after 
the reign of Kumar Gupta. When this inscription talks about Govind Gupta, it also mentions the name of Chandra Gupta II. But surprisingly, it does not talk about Kumar Gupta. The removal of Kumar Gupta's name suggests that this person was not at good terms with Kumar Gupta. This was according to some scholars because during the end of Chandra Gupta II's reign, there was a war of succession between Govind Gupta and Kumar Gupta. And this person who had commissioned this inscription was in the camp of Govind Gupta. Now we all know that what the result of this war of succession was. Govind Gupta was eliminated by Kumar Gupta. So when the reign of Kumar Gupta began, this person who has commissioned this inscription, his service was no longer needed. And most likely, he was also considered an enemy of Kumar Gupta. So there was this grudge which this person had against Kumar Gupta. And when the reign of Kumar Gupta ended and the reign of his successor Skand Gupta began, this person wrote this inscription in which he eliminated the name of Kumar Gupta. So this is the explanation why the name of Kumar Gupta is not there and why the name of Govind Gupta is mentioned. So from this, it appears that most likely during the end of Chandra Gupta II's reign, there was this war of succession between Govind Gupta and Kumar Gupta. These two were brothers and they fought a war of succession in which Govind Gupta was eliminated by Kumar Gupta. Now it is also worth noting that in the case of Kaj and Ram Gupta, we have some evidence from coins. But in the case of Govind Gupta, there is no such evidence. This was most likely because the struggle between Kumar Gupta and Govind Gupta did not last long enough for Govind Gupta to issue his own coins. And most likely, according to some scholars, uh, the struggle lasted from 415 to 416 AD. And it was around this time also we have evidence that Kumar Gupta had become the new Gupta emperor. So the struggle between Kumar Gupta and Govind Gupta was quite short. Now when Kumar Gupta became the new Gupta emperor, it appears that his reign lasted for more than 30 years. The last coins of Kumar Gupta are dated to around 447-448 AD. Now we all know that after Kumar Gupta, we have Skand Gupta who became the next Gupta ruler. But when we look at the earliest coin of Skand Gupta, we find that these coins are dated to around 453-454 AD. Which means that there is this difference of 6-7 years where Skand Gupta was not the Gupta emperor. The reason for this gap of 6-7 years was because there was a war of succession that had broken during the end of Kumar Gupta's reign. The contenders in this war of succession were Skand Gupta and Ghatotkach Gupta. Ghatotkach Gupta was the brother of Kumar Gupta. And from the inscription in which his name appears, it appears that there was a considerable age difference between Ghatotkach Gupta and Kumar Gupta. And it also seems that Kumar Gupta did not consider Ghatotkach as a threat to his throne. That is why we find that Ghatotkach most likely became the governor of Vidisha, the same region where Kumar Gupta had fought with Govind Gupta for the Gupta throne. For Skand Gupta, he was not supposed to be the next Gupta ruler. He was not a crown prince. And this was mainly because of his mother's origin. When we look at the inscription of Skand Gupta, where his mother is mentioned, we find that uh, the name of his mother is not mentioned. This was mainly because his mother was not a chief queen or some scholars have argued that his mother was not a queen at all. So because of this, Skand Gupta was not supposed to be the next Gupta ruler. But Skand Gupta was a great military leader. Even before the struggle with Ghatotkach began, he had proven himself as a great military commander when he defeated the enemy of the Gupta Empire. It was this quality of Skand Gupta that provided him support in some section of the Gupta court. The struggle with Ghatotkach lasted around a decade. And it appears that this struggle had begun even before the death of Kumar Gupta. And it lasted around 453-454 AD. After this period, we have coins of Skand Gupta, which suggest that Skand Gupta had now won this struggle and he became the 
नेक्स्ट गुप्ता रूलर आफ्टर स्कंद गुप्त वी फाइंड दैट वी डू नॉट हैव एनफ सोर्सेज टू से वेदर देर वर न्यू वॉर ऑफ सक्सेशन और नॉट सो द स्टोरी ऑफ द गुप्ता आफ्टर स्कंद गुप्त इज नॉट वेरी क्लियर बट फ्रॉम समुद्र गुप्त टू स्कंद गुप्त वी हैव दीज मल्टीपल एविडेंस of war of succession suggest that the story of the ancient indian dynasties and their succession was not always that simple now if you want to know about this civil war between ghatotkach and skandgupt please watch this video thank you for watching